The Return Merchandise Authorization, or RMA feature, allows you to process returns and exchanges for customers. The RMA can be initiated by the customer or it can be initiated by you. At any time after an order has been placed, the first thing we need to do is enable the RMA. Go to Modules and search for RMA. Enable the system and save. After we enable the system, we can go into the settings. This allows you to create a return period of a select number of days in which a fulfilled order is eligible for return. The setting is global to your entire store. That being said, you can also apply specific RMA periods at the individual product level. After you select your RMA period, you can save. If we go back into the settings, we can actually change additional settings. As you can see, we've pre-populated three default RMA methods for your store, which are money back, exchange, and another product. You can also see that we have three default reasons for the return, which is broken, don't like it, or not what I wanted. Feel free to add other options as you see fit. An RMA can be initiated in two ways. It can be initiated by the customer, where they come into their order, add a new RMA, and select what they want returned. At this point, they will be waiting on you to continue the RMA process. An RMA can also be initiated by you, the merchant. If we come into Orders, Manage Orders, and click into a specific order, at the top right you'll see Actions, then New RMA. From here you can initiate the RMA on your end as well. Once an RMA has been created, you can go about processing the RMA, and the easiest way to do that is to select Orders, then Manage Returns. If you select the RMA, you can select More and Send RMA Instructions Email, or even delete the RMA. Once you've received the returned product, you can finalize the RMA. So again, when you're in the RMA page, you can tell it how many were returned and select Save. You can also add any comments for the customers about the order process, as well as create internal comments for you and your customer service staff. If at any point you think the status should be denied, you can go to your RMA statuses and close it. You can also change the instructions email that goes out when an RMA is processed. To do that, go to Settings, Design, Emails, and you'll see an option for RMA. You can change the new RMA to the customer, to the merchant, and in this case, the instructions. That's how easy it is to process an RMA.